The University of Bristol is looking at the application of massive MIMO technology for sub-6 gigahertz um, future generation wireless, such as 5G. So although the regulators are um, allocating more spectrum, such as 3.5 gigahertz, one of the, the drivers is to find ways of using that spectrum more efficiently. Using the spatial multiplexing capability of Massive MIMO, we can have, in our illustration, 12 users using the same spectral resource and same time resource that one user would occupy in 4G. And we're, we're doing that by using a large antenna array to spatially isolate the communications paths between those users. The equipment here in this lower marquee um, is based on software programmable radios and we're using a laptop as the interface but all that electronics and all that signal processing actually resides in our mobile phones today. So the user end of Massive MIMO is no more complex than the phones we have today. The clever bit resides in the network and that is shared between all the users of that network. The base station structure, as you can see, is, is physically large. Now, the racks um, will certainly condense. The array facet that we're showing, that is 128 antennas in a 4 by 32 arrangement, but each antenna is also dual polarized. Today we're only using one of the polarizations, so we could half the size of the array using polarization. That is very, very attractive to the network operators. We can also play with the geometry of the array but actually an array which is larger in azimuth rather than in elevation is probably better because of the way the signals impinge on the array. Well, most of the RF electronics would be integrated on the back of the antenna assembly. So you'd integrate the um, up and down converters and the digitizers and we would probably use a fibre to connect the um, massive MIMO antenna mast into the baseband equipment which would probably collapse down to only a, a half of one of the 19 inch racks that we're looking in the suite of four that we've got here today. In Massive MIMO what we need to do is exploit the the uplink information so we can effectively send the same signature back to the individual users and time division duplex is a very good way of doing that um, we're using three and a half gigahertz of spectrum so we've got a a testing development license to, to run this at the moment. But massive MIMO, sub six gigs being most effective, probably the TDD implementation is the best way. And in hotspots, um, sports stadiums, that type of deployment is, is probably the, the most effective way of doing it.